Good morning everybody. So Nick and I are currently on our way into town. I've got the camera with me and I'm gonna try my best to vlog. However, I always say I'm gonna vlog when I'm in town and then when I get into town I'm like, oh I don't want to get the camera out or I forget or it's just not as interesting as it seems in my head. In my head, I watch other people's vlogs where they go shopping and I find it interesting. But then when I film, I'm like, you've seen the inside, inside of a shop before. It's not that interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best to vlog. And I think the first thing we're gonna do is get some food because we are hungry. When we were back in the house, I was not hungry at all. Now we've got in the car, I'm like, get me some food. I'm so hungry. So first stop food. Then we'll go shopping and I will see if I can film as much as possible. <laughs> right, we're just looking for a car parking space. It's really, really busy. We were just talking about there was this time. I wasn't there, but Nick's told me the story and I just found it really funny. One time Nick parked in this car park and then he lost his car and he thought someone had stolen it. And so he had to go and tell like security he couldn't find his car and someone had taken it. So they got a little like, what, like a golf cart type buggy. They're little buggies and they come around. A little buggy. And Nick was sat on the buggy going around <laughs> looking for his car. And he, the guy was saying, maybe we'll check the level above. And Nick's like, it's not up there. Like, it's not up on the level. I know where I parked. It's not up there. Someone stole my car. <laughs> going around looking for it in his buggy. And then the guy was like, listen, we're just going to go upstairs and check. Went up and he was like, is that your car? And Nick's like, yeah, that's my car. <laughs> Oh, it's really, and I asked them really to busy. not speak about it. <laughs> never, so, never tell anyone about this. So we just leave this between us. <laughs> we have been driving around for a while. We've only ever really parked on the top floor of this car park. We've just come down a few levels. Look at the spaces. Just endless spaces. Not that anyone cares. I've got a, a little bit of a walk to do now. I'll put you there while I put the bracelet on. And <laughs> I have two intensity minutes to tick off my weekly intensity minute goal. So I'm gonna put this on while I walk around and hope that my heart rate reaches maximum while I'm walking um, somehow. And I can tick off two intensity minutes. Got my bag, I've got you, let's go. Look at all of these spaces. Yeah, I'm baffled. Done, I know, but I just, it's so empty. Well, why did we, <laughs> why did you go that way? Well, no, we're going straight over there. Hello. You look, you look lovely. Thank you. Please do not share the left. Okay, choices of places to eat. We have Yira, Las Iguanas, Wagamama. Okay, Wagamama it is. It? <laughs> yeah. What's we got the ZZ here, smoke and, smoke and dough, Fridays. This is at uh, the top of what we call Liverpool One. Hello. 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 We are probably going to get our usual order, which is tamar squid. Um, oh, you want bang bang cauliflower? Definitely. You forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've mixed it up a little bit. Completely changed. We normally have the exact same thing every time. This time, not that you care, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just trying to vlog while I'm in town. But Nick's getting the beef brisket, and I'm getting the shirodashi pork belly. Nick's getting the tan tan men beef brisket. And then we're getting tamar squid, bang bang cauliflower, walk fried greens. But we're both having a normal meal. Normally we just have all sides. So just in case you wanted to know, not that you care, I'm letting you know. This is the bang bang cauliflower. It's really quite spicy, but it is absolutely delicious. Like I'll put up with the spice in order to eat this. And then I've got the tamar squid. Um, and they're like really crunchy on the outside and then really soft on the inside. They're absolutely delicious. And we basically just swapped one of each. So I've got some of Nick's cauliflower and he's got one of my little squid balls. And we're just waiting for the rest. The wok fried greens came along, but I completely forgot to film them. So here they are half eaten. But Nick's has just arrived and this looks amazing. Where are you going to start? <laughs> What's that? Um, bamboo shoot, maybe? It's all right, man. Yeah? That looks really, really tasty. And then final meal, this is my one. So I've got pork and under there somewhere is noodles. We both asked for um, udon noodles, which are the thick ones instead of the ramen noodles because we prefer them. But yeah, so this is what mine looks like. I'm like such an eavesdropper and like people watch them whenever we go out and the girls that are sat behind Nick have just learned how to use chopsticks. Like I saw them YouTube a video about learning to use chopsticks and then I saw them put them together and go, oh yeah, look. And I'm so excited to watch their food come. 
and watch them try and use chopsticks. So we're not leaving until their food comes. But it's, I don't even think they've ordered it. But we are not going anywhere. I'm not letting Nick leave until I've seen them with their chopsticks. Update on Lulu though. She's actually done not too bad at all. She's picked it up and she's twizzled it round as you would with a fork. She's got udon noodles and she's twizzled it like you would with spaghetti. It's gone not so bad. She's now trying a piece of chicken. She's done well. She, she, do you know what? She's actually, she's a pro. <laughs> I'm getting a bit antsy because Noodle Girl 1 isn't eating her meal anymore because the other girl doesn't have any food but it's been ages and her food's getting cold and she's also now resorted to just putting the chopstick onto the plate, twisting and hoping for the best when she looks <laughs> <laughs> her, her tactics just went out the window. She just decided to go plonk, twist yes, and lift. <laughs> Live update, food has just arrived. First call to call. She is taking an Instagram story. <laughs> One moment. She's arranging the chopsticks for the Instagram story. The other girl has joined in on the Instagram story. <laughs> I hope they don't see this vlog. Imagine you saw them. Imagine they saw this vlog and they're like, that was me. Yes. I know, but imagine they've gone to Alabama in Liverpool. And they, <laughs> they've been struggling with it. Okay, we're going for it. Chopsticks are in hand. Wait a minute. Okay, she's, she's got a piece of chicken. <laughs> Technique isn't quite as good as noodle girl number one. I just want to see a pick of a noodle. <laughs> she's just going for chicken at the moment. Can she leave noodle? No, she, come on, she can do the noodles. Right, we're going for a noodle. She picked up a bean sprout and it fell. It's fallen. She's rearranging the chopsticks. Nick <laughs> is so bored. <laughs> Are you not enjoying it? Just because I don't tell her, I'll love She's done it. She's done it. Oh, uh, Noodle Girl 1 is struggling at this point. <laughs> Noodle Girl 1 is now trying to do the same thing. Okay, we're going to go now. Bye. Hello. Hello. And uh, we're waiting to go into the Apple shop to get a screen on my phone. This is Liverpool 1. Dun, dun, dun. You are welcome for the footage. <laughs> Devastation has occurred. They don't have any screens in stock. But also, Nick always gets annoyed at, well not annoyed at me, but Nick always comments on the fact that when we're eating or we're out, I'm always people watching. He's like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Just then, I told Nick an entire story, an entire story, and then I got to the end and I went, what are you looking at? And I was like, I'm just seeing where those people are gonna cut in the queue. <laughs> then the people moved behind us and he went, so what did you say then? <laughs> He hadn't listened at all. At least when I people watch, I still listen. Nick just absolutely turned yeah, yeah. off. I couldn't handle it. Anyway, there's no screen, so we're just gonna do whatever's next on the list of us, our things to do. We've come into John Lewis. Does anyone else just feel like it's Christmas time when they go into a department store? I don't know why, because I do go into department stores like in the peak of summer, but I just, oh, it just smells of Christmas. <laughs> what is this mannequin doing? What's with this hand? They're like ballet fingers or something. Maybe not though, what is, what is this hand? And this one over here, wait, what's this mannequin doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> this is great, I've never looked at mannequins quite so much. Look at this mannequin. How cute are these little, little I'm assuming they're radios. Oh, that's so cute, my grandma would have loved one of those. Look at this speaker, look at the size of it. I'm assuming that goes under a telly. <gasps> I like this plant. I like this decorative layout, it's very pretty. Do you want to see if that tap works? That's a nice they kitchen. I like these lights underneath here, that's what we want. Yeah, we were gonna have that when we were designing our kitchen. Obviously we never ended up building our kitchen, but that's what we were gonna have. Yeah, it does work. I thought it worked, I saw the lady using it. Is that a nice tap? Oh, that so almost went on you. Do you want one of those? That looks great. Pretty good. That's in my this is what you want. One of those. Right, okay, you don't even clean our coffee machine at the moment. Look at all of the accessories as if that's staying clean. That, stays that clean. would be a mess. I like this. What's this? Okay. Oh, is it plugs? Yeah. Plugs. My eye's gonna water again. How do you open it? I meant to do that. I don't think you are. Yeah, you are. I like the ones on IKEA. How do you open? That one doesn't open. Oh, look at this. Yeah, what is, is that it? for a wok? I'm assuming. I'm thinking that might be a wok, like a gas yeah, for the yeah. wok, and then and then normal heater. 
it's a bit scary. Also, I really want something like this. When we do have our own kitchen, I want something set back so that we can put like toaster and coffee machine and stuff in it and then close it so you just can't see it because it's just that, although fancy, it just, it's messy. Right, why is there no door on these? Because that's like in our kitchen where we have just random drawers rather than drawers with drawer fronts. <gasps> oh, that's why there's no front on it so that you can see what's inside it. I like this wood a lot. <gasps> Nick, I really like this kitchen. I love this work surface. That's what we want. This is what's work surface we want. That is beautiful. No, no, I like this. <gasps> I really like this work surface. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the green, but the general kitchen is beautiful. No, I think that's too harsh. I like this just barely there marble. Yeah, I think that is it. But we saw Carrera right white Didn't when we? we were looking and it always looked a lot more marble. Whereas this is just barely there. Like I prefer this here to this. This to me is too much, whereas that's quite nice. So it depends on which, which slab of marble you get. Also, thoughts on the rose gold tap. I quite like it, I don't think we'd get it. <gasps> I like this kitchen as well. Why have we decided to come kitchen shopping? <laughs> We're just kitchen shopping. Oh, wow. See, that's what I was thinking, under the window maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> can't have that now, can we? We might. No, yeah, yeah, we can't have that. But oh, that's pretty. I love this. Oh my gosh, look at this little onesie. A little pumpkin onesie. That's so cute. That's so cute. What's this one? I mean, it's cute, but it's not as cute as the pumpkin one, is it? Look at that. One day I will own this globe. <laughs> one day. I have nowhere to put it at the moment. It would obviously be a decorative item and I have nowhere to put it. But one day, look at it, it's white and gold and beautiful. Because I've got nowhere to put it at the moment. I really love it though. We've just found this game called Throw Throw Burrito. Look at these little burrito guys. And it says you throw these. I don't know what happens. Place the burritos on there, earn points by collecting three of a kind. And chuck them and then duel. Duel to determine a winner. <laughs> That sounds like great fun. There's an escape room puzzle here. Host your own escape room. I'm obsessed with escape rooms. If you're looking for a new game to play, this is the one. Love this game. And you play as a team, so you can play two players and work together. You can even, if you're sad like me, play it single player <laughs> and just do it that way. But yeah, amazing game. This looks like a great game for anyone who loves Disney. So it's basically just guessing the color of things like the jewel in Jasmine's headband and you just get all of the colors. That sounds like it would be fun. Oh wait, so they've got a Disney edition and a general one. I wonder what this one's like. The color of the lid on a Marmite jar, yellow. The color of the taxis in London, New York and Rome. In London they're black, but in New York they're yellow, no? Taxis. Yeah, or maybe yeah. you put down a yellow one for New York, a black one and something else. I don't know about Rome. Farm alarm. <laughs> What do you do? 30 seconds to act out and describe as many ridiculous rhymes as you Got can. Got it. Imagine trying to do that. Obama Llama. How did you, you act that out? I have That's no impossible. idea. Next, come to look at this phone. Go on then, flip it open. Your thoughts? I want it. That just makes so much it. sense to me, that. Go on, open it. <laughs> you can see the, you can see the thingies. Over time, they'll get, they'll get that better, that crease. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty and then good you can, though. You can do it like that and do a video call. You know, like that. I got a camera. I really want it. <laughs> so wait, now open it. Bam. <laughs> that is, it's basically a tablet. It is, isn't it? It's very clever. It is good, isn't it? It's very clever. I don't mind the grease for it. It's very smooth. smooth. So that, that is too big for me. That's yeah. what I've got. But that, I well, this see. is next, next, next phone, hopefully. <laughs> By the time I'm due for an upgrade, we bet it'll have another version. We've just found a new coffee shop. <laughs> I think we'll be buying something. <laughs> Smells incredible in here. Wow. Should we get some Ooh, you can actually, do you want to sit down for a cup of coffee with me? Yeah, come on, let's have a coffee. <gasps> Ooh, coffee look. They look cute. Like hazelnut, treat them. Ooh, yeah, but I want, uh, how do you know how strong it is? I don't know. Look at these flavors for a coffee. 
There's blueberry, candy floss, mango and apple. One interesting combination for a coffee mm -hmm. flavour. Okay, this is a hazelnut and praline cake which sounds amazing. And this is a cinnamon bun. But look at it, it's like a cinnamon bun muffin. It looks delicious. Wow, I want one. <gasps> wow, wait, look at this one. Look at this. I don't know, they look delicious. That's pretty. Look at that. There's Liverpool, one minute. Oh, it's very busy. Nick, do you want to have a go at this pull up bar for me? I can't do it. <laughs> do you want to see if you can hang there for a whole minute? 100 pounds, isn't it? 100 pounds if you can do it. Guess where we're headed? Begins with P and ends in K. And it's got a Rymar in the middle. <laughs> Got to leave. Too busy. Can't handle. Can't do it. <laughs> Need to get out. I see Christmas bits and bobs. Whoa, that is a big bauble. It's heavy, that too. Is it heavy? Yeah, feel the weight, man. I'm not hanging that on a tree. No, no, no. That, no, that's to hang up for decoration. You wouldn't put it on the tree. I mean, that'd have to be a massive tree. Oh, Christmas. I've never been a fan of like this kind of looking decoration. I don't love them. My nose has stopped running and I've stopped sniffing. So I'm thinking I'm allergic to cats. Can you just suddenly become more allergic to cats than you've ever been before? Is that a thing? Maybe. <laughs> because I don't normally really react to it, especially not in my nose. Normally I just get like a tickle in my throat. But this time I seem to be like, nope, my nose is not happy, like it's not working. But it's okay now I'm out, so I think we're gonna get some purities so that I can take that when we get back. Nick's just said he's gonna choose a bag that he thinks I might like. No, 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 I like it. Oh, that you like? How about this, each other? No. No. You can't copy the bag that I'm holding. <laughs> and for reference, this is the bag that I'm holding. You can't just copy the bag that I'm holding. I don't like any of them. No, I don't really like any of them. Ones. No, I, I don't mind this one, but this is probably the only one. This one? Yeah, but it's quite little. Yeah, but it's quite little. That's just bigger. Oh, I don't like the inside. Oh, it does zip up. Maybe. Oh, I don't like the feel of it. No, I like the one I've got. We'll keep my one. This is the fanciest Lush. <laughs> I mean, there's like a forest in here. Whoa, there's an upstairs as well. This is massive. Is this the biggest UK look? Wow. This is pretty. <gasps> They've got the snow fairy. I like this one. I might get one of these. Okay, I don't think you understand the size of this place. Like, there's the entrance. And it goes all the way back. And upstairs. Look at their Halloween stuff. What does this smell like? Bat art. Oh, that smells quite nice. Smell that? It's very, very um, mellow. Oh my goodness, you can get your hair done in Lush. What the heck is this? is massive. Whoa. You can get your hair done in Lush. It's like little hairdressers. They've got a perfume library. <laughs> this is crazy massive. Um, you can get coffee in Lush. <laughs> this Lush is madness. Let me smell this. I'll put that back down. <laughs> oh, I like this one. It's very, very mild though. There's a library. Why is there a library in Lush? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. That's so cute. Oh, it doesn't smell that cute actually. Look at this. Little polar bear. This Lush is massive. It's got a coffee shop, a hairdresser's, a library. They've got body spray, like a whole section of body spray. I'm, we're gonna go upstairs in a second because they also have another floor. And I'm hoping maybe there's more like bath bombs upstairs because there are bath bombs like spread out down here, but not a lot. Oh my goodness, there's a third level. I mean, there's <laughs> spa treatments and spa parties. What is this place? And oh, look at that little alien. Oh my gosh. I do. Smell this one. More coffee over here. Look how pretty this is. This is such a cute little hippo. Okay, I want a hippo. Smell this. 
Yeah. That is lovely. They have Christmas bath bombs. They have Hey Hollywood, which is very, very glittery. They have the golden pudding. This one doesn't have a name next to it. Oh look, it says Have a Hippo Christmas. Oh, I see, you get one of each. Oh, that one smells nice. Smell that one? Oh, you smelt it. Oh, that one smells really nice. That looks more like a bath bar. This one looks interesting. This has just become a lush vlog all of a sudden. Can't really smell that one too much. Look at this. <laughs> A little, it's like yo sushi but for bath bombs. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get one of these because I know I like the snow fairy ones. I'm just gonna try and do it off camera so that I can actually carry things because I'm currently carrying this teddy bear one and that's all I can manage. Oh, and I love this one. This is intergalactic. I love this bath bomb. I've lost Nick. He's left me. <laughs> Oh, it makes me hungry. I'm hungry? Yeah, it's like sweet. <gasps> Look at this wave. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Looks like this. That's better, you can see it like that. They've got this one, this one smells like um, spearmint maybe? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's like chewy. Yeah. Thanks. Hold that for me. And hold that for me. Oh, I see. And I want one of these um, cook candy cane ones, yeah. And, oh look at this. That's cute. It does, it does smell of lemon, just very, very mild. I did not realise there were so many bath bombs in Lush. <gasps> They've got a lucky cat bath bomb. Look at that. That is massive. <gasps> They've got a milk bath bomb. They look like perfume bottles. They are. Do they smell of perfume? Really? Um, no. Cute. Look at that. This one I think is like the prettiest one, but I'm not like the most, the biggest fan of that. That's all right. Ooh, that's quite nice. I definitely had this in a video, didn't I? I think in the bath bomb video. If I wanted to do that bath bomb video again, this is the place to come. Woo! They have a little um, pumpkin carriage. Can you get that? No, but that's cute. Yeah, this smells amazing. It's a little scrubby. Oh, it's slipping out of my hands. That smells incredible. I think this whole word is made out of soap. <laughs> because look at the size oh, yeah. of these soaps. And uh, I really want to go on this unicorn. Just go on. Slices. Film me go on the unicorn. I would just briefly, just briefly like to interrupt at this point in the vlog and say that that unicorn isn't probably a unicorn, I think it's actually a horse, but that thing, when you sit on it, does not feel as stable as it looks. You sit on it and it feels like it's going to throw you off backwards, hence my reaction in a second and Nick's reaction in about 30 seconds. I just, I just thought I'd explain because in the video it looks like that thing is just the most stable thing, you get on it and you think you're going to fly off, so enjoy the rest of the vlog. <laughs> you like just <laughs> really <laughs> oh dear <laughs> How cute is this little bag? That's so cute. Hotel chocolate have advent calendars. So you can have a chocolate every day, but a hotel chocolate one. I don't know why I didn't think that would they would have one. That makes complete sense that they would have one. Look at these cute little penguins. Oh my gosh, they are so sweet. And then Nick's getting this because he's wanted to try these for ages, but they come in massive bottles and obviously we don't really drink, so it didn't make sense, but they've got three little testers, so he's gonna try those. So we've come into Hotel Chocolate and Nick's got a little flat white, his third coffee of the day. <laughs> and then I've got a hazelnut hot chocolate. Ah, that is hot. How am I supposed to pick that up? I'll pick it up from the top. It's very chocolatey. And it's quite dark. This is like 70% chocolate as opposed to like milk chocolate. <laughs> it's calorie I don't think it's healthy at all. <laughs> it's very nice. It's very like airy and light. Oh, it wouldn't hold it from there. It's hot. Nice. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? 
I think I combine the hot uh, chocolates to use with the velvetizer machine. We don't have a velvetizer, but we do have a milk coffee. And when Nick makes, yeah, when Nick makes any hot chocolates anyway, it's in the milk coffee. So I think we could get away with this. They are very yummy. Nick just bought a white chocolate. Okay, so this is a vanilla white hot chocolate. It is hot, hot, hot to hold. But it's a coffee. Oh, it's a coffee? Vanilla white chocolate latte. Okay. Let's little, go and get that then. <laughs> little mix up of communication. Uh, this is actually a white vanilla hot chocolate. Uh, coffee. A white vanilla latte. coffee latte. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, okay, there's also a hot chocolate up there. I thought Nick was talking about hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I'll but take my card and pay for it. Do you know what? Like that's pretty good. Yeah. Don't worry about the other hot chocolate. That's actually really yummy. Mmm. I can drink that, that's delicious. That's nice. I've got to try the hot chocolate. You just waited in line for this. I don't care. The Off you go then. Off you pop. <laughs> okay, attempt number two. So this is the white uh, vanilla oh hot chocolate. God. That's white, white vanilla coffee, white vanilla hot chocolate. Let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, you like that? She can do it, she couldn't do it. It's like your favourite. Oh, that is amazing. You're going to get some of that instead. It's like two and two milky bar. It is, isn't it? That is milky bar That's in a cup. That's incredible. <laughs> you can box it out then. If you ever come to Liverpool or any hotel shop that has a cafe section, order the white hot chocolate because Creamy. the white vanilla hot chocolate it is to die but if you like white chocolate yes. Nick's gonna go see if they have a box so that we can buy it for Christmas oh I could spend all day drinking that oh I want to drink some with the bake off or something so yummy what have you found <laughs> Is it the right stuff? Yeah. Oh my gosh. How much is it? Mm, yes. Quid. Why is it not focusing? Okay. We're gonna buy this. <laughs> I'll have that as my Christmas <laughs> treat. Well, we need to go buy it. You've got to go buy sure. it. You can't just keep it. Nick's buying my my hot chocolate. <laughs> And now we've got to see if we can find the car. <laughs> and hopefully we don't have to uh, call on a buggy to drive us around. <laughs> Luckily, I uh, think I remember the letter we parked at, so Nick thinks it's over here somewhere. Okay, I'm quite impressed with the amount that I managed to vlog in town today. I'm quite happy with myself. But also, two things I'm gonna say. One, the camera setting, um, I realized when we were in the coffee shop, it just wasn't like brightening things up enough. And I've been annoyed with that all day. And last time I vlogged, I was like, why is this not adding light to anything? Like it's really, really dark. And I found out one of the settings has been changed. I don't know when it was changed because it's not a setting I ever touch. So I've changed that. So hopefully it's a little bit brighter now. And then second thing, they didn't have an iPhone screen protector in store. And apparently they had to get sent back because of what's it called? It's issues with it. Issue, because, yeah, but what did she say it was called? It doesn't matter, but. So they don't have any in stock really anywhere. The ones that like Belkin put on perfectly for you. They just have like lay them yourself ones and I don't really want one of those I want like a proper one which means my phone doesn't have a screen protector which means I don't really want to use it until it does only that camera's way better so I'm now carrying around two phones yeah. and one of them I'm just using to take photos anyway we're gonna drive home now I think I'm just gonna end this here and pray that there's enough footage I really really hope I filmed enough but I'm gonna end this here um, because we're gonna go back to Nick's parents now I will end this and I will see you very soon bye <laughs>